Oh, that's in three words. Come yeah. on. I mean, that's <laughs> challenging. Hold on. No, no, no. There's no bridge. All right. Hello, Michelle. Hi, how are you, Deandra? I'm good, I'm good. Hello, Justin. How are you? How are you? Hi. I'm good, I'm good. How are you? Let me just say that, you know, I've been a fan ever since the beginning, so it's it's been 20 years. It's a very, very ah, long. That's wild, man. That's so beautiful. Thank you. How has the ride been for you? It's been bumpy. <laughs> very blessed. Um, super happy to be part of a like family that accepts you, you know, as you are. It's kind of cool. And I and I get that kind of love all around the world, you know, that that kind of kid from the other side of the track kind of, you know, showing love. It's like you're representing us. Thank you. And I like I like that vibe. I relate to it a lot. It's been great. I mean, I, I wouldn't come back if it wasn't good, you know, and I it, it's crazy because when I think about it, you know, it's been 15 years of my life. As I grow as a filmmaker, I get to try all these different things, but I also get to really grow and evolve with, you know, the cast and the crew. Every time we get to earn to, to make another one, it, I feel like, you know, that that to me is very special, very personal. And to see that like where we started and now that we have such a global community, it just means everything. What would you say what is the most interesting about playing Letty? Just watching, you know, through the years, how a character like that started out, like nobody knew what to do with somebody like that. Do we kill her? Like if she's not, you know, having children or like, you know, like she's not fulfilling the matriarchal duties. Like what do you even do with a female character like that? And I think that the, the exploration of what that character would evolve into has been a learning experience, both for me and the writers. So you started with Tokyo Drift and then uh, with Fast 9, you get to bring back some of the old cast from Tokyo Drift to Fast 9. How does it feel like merging the cast together and having new ones like John Cena join as well. Oh, it's great. You know, it keeps everything very fresh and it's not, I, I never in my head think that it's like separate segments, you know? It was so important when we did Tokyo Drift, when I first met Vin and we talked about him coming in to do the last scene of the movie, it, it was a signal that all these characters live in the same world. I, I, I read somewhere that um, you spoke to the producers on having more female cast. Into yeah. the series. Oh, that was pretty yeah. cool. We got a female writer. It was really, really great. Mm -hmm. She helped out with a lot of the, the feminine touches. And we got some attention, you know, to the to the female characters in the franchise. And you have a lot of minority groups that are represented here. And so everybody tries to be really, really loud so that they can be expressed and so that they yeah. can represent their constituents. And in a way, after 18 years, I was like, hey, hey, wait a minute, guys. We've had all these years, you know, focusing on you and supporting you. And and being all about you, like, show some love to the women. And they were like, you know what? Okay. And I was like, cool. <laughs> this works out for all of us. So with each movie, we actually, you know, expect a lot of things, and we get a lot of things, a lot more uh, stunts and characters and everything. What would, you, what would you say is the most challenging thing for you as a director? Well, for this, for for, fa for uh, Fast Nine, I think the the challenge was to be able to tell that story in two and a half hours. I mean, I could have made this film for six hours because we now have so many characters, and I love them all, and I wanted to spend more time. What are your thoughts on an all female? Male cast, you know, for the a spin-off probably. I think we should definitely, definitely, I would love that. I would love that without pandering. I feel like a lot of movies that do female driven movies just because they want to satisfy a hole in the market, they sacrifice storytelling in the process of doing that. And you get really, really bad movies trying to follow a trend. Mm -hmm. And, you know, I would hope that the studio would be thoughtful and careful when doing an all-female cast movie so that they don't fall into that trap and make a really bad movie. So I understand that most of the stunts are, uh, are done by the stunt team, but um, some of the scenes that you shot, what, we, what was the most challenging scene? The challenging bit for me these days, you know, the stunt people have most of the fun because they're the ones crashing the cars. They're the ones, you know, literally putting their lives on the line. So my hat is, it always goes off to the stunt teams. I think that, you know, in the fighting sequences, it's remembering all of these moves because this, for the first time, I was like, Letty's more of a martial arts vibe in that all female fight and so yeah. it was really um, just about the choreography and, and trying to get that down. What can the fans expect from this one? Uh, is there anything we should pay super close attention to? Look I, I think you know if you if you've never seen 
a Fast and Furious film, you could come in and see it and you can enjoy it for whatever level. If you want to come in just for the action or laugh, I think you're going to have a good time. If you want to feel the emotion, it's there. And then if you get excited and, and, and hopefully you like it, there's eight more films for you to check out. But for the fans that's been around, I think they're gonna really enjoy it because again, there's gonna be a lot of reconnection and a lot of answering of questions they might have from the other chapters. Is there anything you can share with us uh, on what to expect in Fast 10? When I came back and I talked to Vin, as we were kind of talking about story and how we want to potentially wrap up this saga, we didn't talk about it as one film. We talked about three films. And so I think Fast 9 is just the beginning of that journey. We're planning on a lot of other things to explore. So I think if, if you come and see Fast 9, it's just one of three that's gonna really wrap everything up. Just last question, in three words, what, you can, uh, what can you tell us of Fast 10? Oh, that's in three words. Come yeah. on! I mean, that's <laughs> challenging. Best way to escape? That's four words, but I mean, one of them's kind of All like right. a... Yeah, you, you let me get away with that one. <laughs> Will do, <laughs> definitely. I'm um, looking forward to the one that's coming up and, you know, the baby, the tent and the 11 as well. I'm so sorry. is coming to an end. Maybe right. we'll end up doing spin-offs, or maybe we'll pass the baton on to the younger generation. Who knows? Hopefully, it'll be 30 years before you know it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's crazy. I can't believe it's already been 20. Thanks so much, Michelle, for doing this. Thank you so much.